This is the North Korea everyone thinks of. Tests of nuclear bombs and missiles, political prison camps, and human rights abuses. But this is the other side of North Korea. Home to habitats for one of the world's great bird migration routes. Because of economic development, much of the coastlines along China and South Korea have been reclaimed already for development. And some of the most pristine tidal flats left are those along the west coast of North Korea. This rarely seen footage of North Korea's wetlands shows where tens of thousands of birds have found refuge. So while sanctions and the dismal economy have resulted in a lack of development, experts say it may have unintentionally helped with conservation. North Korea's mud flats have been preserved in their natural state, so it's a site of feeding for the birds and provides them a space to live. It's become their habitat. But if that disappears completely and all across the board, it could collapse the food chain. And any changes in the environment would not only affect migratory birds that travel in and out of Korea, but the entire connected ecology. Those are black-faced spoonbills, one of the most endangered bird species in the world. And those two islands, they're one of their few breeding sites. These birds, they don't know politics. They don't have boundaries. They just fly looking for food and habitat, even across the Korean Peninsula, which has been divided by warfare for almost 70 years. But sometimes even neutral entities can get caught up in agendas. Diplomatic efforts to engage North Korea have had mixed results over the years. But conservation groups have kept the door open between North Korea and the rest of the world. They've trained DPRK representatives and helped them enhance their network in international meetings. And the North Korean leader reportedly called for preservation of local ecosystems and to strengthen international collaborations. Although negotiations for denuclearization are happening, North Korea has already joined various international conservation groups and also re-entered into a number of diplomatic relationships, raising prospects the country could open up and develop. And that's left some people to wonder how this will work in tandem with the preservation of its environment. Joseph Kim, TRT World, Songdo, South Korea.